Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's video. I wanted to do a really super, super casual, everyday basic outfits haul because I know a lot of you girls live in like super casual stuff like I do too and I just wanted some basic everyday wearable outfits for autumn. So this is not sponsored, I bought everything myself and I'm just going to let you know exactly what I think of everything how they fit and just put some cute outfits together that you guys can replicate or copy or find things in your wardrobe that, that you've already got that's similar. Things that you can wear for just normal every day. So like school run, running errands, weekend outfit, go, taking the kids to the park, like super easy casual stuff. So I know I'm gonna get asked it, so I'm just gonna let you know now. I am five foot four and I wear UK size eight. And everything is linked in the description box for you, along with what size I ordered and everything. And I will put the prices on the screen of everything as well. I've done a little try on. So I've tried everything on already, so I can let you know exactly what I think to the fit of things. And yeah, so let's get straight into the outfits. First thing that I tried on is this gorgeous dress. It's a black ribbed maxi dress, and it has like a button down front. Um, I got this in a size 10 because I was concerned it might be a little bit tight and I would say it's more like an 8 than a 10 so I would definitely recommend to size up. It fit me really snug and I'm like a really standard size 8 at the moment and yeah it fit me super snug. I really really liked it on. This is the kind of dress that you could wear like having your wardrobe and wear when you don't know what to wear, if you're like going to work or even just casual in the day, like it, because it's like super like fitted and black, it just looks so lovely on, but could be worn so casually as well. I put it with my Doc Martin boots. I will link my Doc Martin boots in the description as well because everyone always asks me about them. They are the Jaden platform style and I got my usual size six. A lot of people say size down in them, but when I spoke to people, so I speak to a lot of people about how these rub. <laughs> Everybody messages me saying, did yours rub? How did you wear them in? And everyone that I speak to who has real problems with them seems to have sized down where I got my usual size. And at first I was like, they feel a little bit big, but now they're actually fine. All I need to do is wear like thick-ish socks and they're absolutely fine. So I would say go for usual size if you're gonna get them. And I loved it with my Doc Martin boots. But this would always also look so nice just with like a pair of black cons and a leather jacket, like really, really casual and easy to wear, but lovely. I styled this as well with my Coach Tally pillow bag, which I pretty much put with every single outfit. And I think that just goes to show what a versatile bag it is. I've had this bag a year now, and I think it's pretty much the only bag that I've used <laughs> since I got it last year. I absolutely love it. I would 100% recommend this bag to anybody. Like you will get so much wear out of it. So yeah, that's what I put with it. You could definitely as well dress this up for a nice out and just put some heels on with it and it'd be really, you could make it look super like classy and dressy but still super comfy as well. Okay, next I picked out this play suit because I thought it was really fun for autumn. It's this like brown mocha, well it's not like a tan, like camely colour. It's ribbed but it's super soft, like the material in it is really lovely and it's this kind of like loose fitting baggy play suit. I thought this was going to look really cute, Doc Martin boots, leather jacket over the top for like a really casual outfit, maybe to go like shopping at the weekend or you could put it with some tights and I thought it was really lovely. I've shown you it worn loose and also belted up because I thought not everybody would want to wear it loose and I wanted to show you that you could belt it also and yeah I just think it's really fun. Also just to like wear it at home like super casual and comfy around the house. I got a size 8 in this and it's already a really nice like loose oversized fit and uh, yeah I thought that was really cute. In, yet, in last week's video where I did like a whole capsule wardrobe for under £250 there was a trench jacket in there and I got loads of questions saying I'm only like 5 foot 2 or 5 foot 3 um, can you share some options on a trench jacket? So I wanted to find one that I could share with you and I found this one. It's actually from their petite range so it's perfect if you are like basically like my height or under. I'm five foot four and it's this gorgeous cream like trench coat which is so easy to wear and so stylish. I actually really like this one. It's this lovely like stone colour 
the material is nice on it also if you didn't necessarily want to have like the really big oversized fit this is a little bit more of your classic fit so i thought it might be nice to just share an alternative to the like really long really oversized styles that i've shared on the last couple of videos i got a uk size 10 in this i wouldn't say it's particularly big for a size 10 so i would recommend sizing up but if you are petite or similar height to me and you wanted a shorter option, this is a really, really lovely jacket. So I got this sweatshirt. I did actually wear it the other day and I've been cuddling my dogs in it. So it's got a few dog hairs on it, but I wanted to share it with you because I just thought this was such a nice, easy piece to have in your wardrobe. So it's this black sweatshirt. I got it in a size large. I wish I kind of got a medium because it's kind of like a, that little tiny bit too big. I'll just like bra tuck it or tuck it into my jeans. I've actually worn it twice since I received it last week. Um, I wore it with like a little skirt when I went shopping and some socks and loafers, which I absolutely love this outfit. It looks so cute. And I've also worn it just thrown over my shoulders. Um, it's just the perfect jumper for that, like over your shoulders or round your waist. So love that one. So autumn out. When it comes to autumn and putting outfits together, I always feel like a black like unitard is a really handy thing to have in your wardrobe. Now I've got this one which is like a um, strappy top, but I also have one down here that's longer, like longer sleeves as well. But we'll start with this one. So it's like this strappy vest top and then it's just an all-in-one like leggings kind of jumpsuit. This is really handy to wear like at the moment when the weather is you know like a bit transitional some days are quite warm these kind of things also look really good under trench jackets like really easy just to have that base layer and then wear a really nice like trench coat or a longer warmer coat into winter and I just thought this was so cute so I put it with that sweatshirt the California one my new balance trainers and this is the kind of thing I would wear if I'm like running errands I've got things to do and I just need to be comfy and not like have to think about what I'm wearing this is one of those things that you don't even have to think about it it's like that's in my wardrobe chuck it on all I need to think about is my coat and trainers like super super easy and I am a bit of a coat addict when it comes to autumn and winter so quite often it's all about the coat and actually the base underneath is very often like a basic black tank basic black leggings and this just means it looks a bit more like streamlined really slimming really flattering and yeah I really liked this I got my usual size 8 in this I felt like it fit like an absolute glove but if you don't want it absolutely skin tight I would say maybe size up and then I also got this option so this is a long sleeved option and it also has like you know where you can put your thumbs through but this is more of a fine rib same kind of thing so a really nice base layer under all your jackets and coats through autumn and winter you can wear this under leather jackets jackets long winter coats puffer coats with a hoodie over the top with a jump around your middle with a jump around your shoulders you could wear it with a big oversized shirt over the top like it's so versatile and just like I say just so easy just to grab and go and not have to think about it so this long sleeve one I would say is a much smaller fit so I got a size 8 in this it felt a lot smaller than the vest top one and um, so I would say definitely size up if you want to try this but it's really nice and a really nice essential to have in your wardrobe okay next I want to show you this cardi which I just thought was so cute it's a little bit of a throwback to like your 2000s kind of style but a little bit more wearable than a lot of the kind of like button open tops and things that are around so it's this it's this really gorgeous knit and it's got super nice long sleeves that kind of like flow down over your wrists, which I really like. The collar I really liked on it. And then it's just got the two buttons and then kind of flares out from about here. So I teamed it just with some jeans and loafers and I thought it looked really cute. A bit of an outfit for like going for some lunch. You could potentially wear it to work if you're going to maybe layer something underneath. Yeah, that's what I was going to say actually. If you didn't want to show your tummy, you could very easily just layer like a white bodysuit or a white cami top underneath and it would look really cute. But I just thought that was so, so nice. So I got a size medium in this. I thought the fit was really nice on it. It was nice loose fit. And I really liked this outfit with the wide leg jeans and the loafers. I kind of wish I'd put some little white socks on with those loafers actually. I think that would look really cute as well. 
Um, and just to mention these jeans as well, so these are the Levi ribcage jeans and I think these are a really nice essential for autumn because they kind of like flare out at the little at the bottoms very slightly, they're kind of like a wide leg. So they look really nice for things like Doc Martens, high top converse, nice little loafers and things. So that I will link those below too. So the next thing I want to show you, I am in love with this, it's this gorgeous bodysuit. So I actually did get makeup on it. Um, which is fine because I'm going to keep this. I absolutely love it. So it's got like a high, so it's a high neck. Um, it's like a cap sleeve. Like it just finishes just right here. Bodysuit. But what I really liked about it is the way it's designed and the way it's cut is this part here over your tummy. So like here is all like loose and ruched fabric. So I found it really, really flattering. You know, like if you're wearing something tight, like a bodysuit sometimes, especially in this like thin material sometimes it can kind of cling and I found this so flattering I just put it with some jeans and I just thought it looked so lovely I thought it was a nice move on from like the white vest tops that are around everywhere a little bit more covered and I really liked the high neck but yeah this bit is what sold it to me I think they had it in some other colours so I'm going to pick it up in a few of the other colours too I just think it's a really lovely bodysuit to have in your wardrobe and one that I think you girls will really like the fit on I got a size 8 in this and I thought the, the fit was really good on it, really, really true to size, so I'd say go for your usual size. I'm very excited to be able to start sharing coats and jackets, so I picked up a couple to share with you on Pretty Little Thing. So I really like this style of jacket for this year, I think it's really quite stylish and something that's going to be a bit more individual, kind of like an aviator like flight jacket but it's got the black like faux leather and then it's got these gorgeous like beige trim all on the collar on the inside so it's super like cozy and warm and yeah i just thought it was really really lovely it's got like a fastening around the neck so you can put it right up to the top it's super warm when i put it on it was so soft and so lovely to wear and i thought this is just a really gorgeous gorgeous coat i was really impressed with it I sized up and got a size 12 in this because I feel like coats like this always look better and a little bit more expensive like oversized and it gives you that oversized look and also gives you room to start layering like hoodies and sweatshirts underneath them. This is the kind of coat I would wear with just like an all black outfit underneath like a black hoodie, black leggings and then just let like the coat be like the key piece of your outfit. The quality is lovely on it. It feels really lovely and snuggly and warm, so I absolutely recommend this one. So talking about hoodies, I saw this like washed charcoal grey. So I'm going to wear this quite a lot, like underneath my leather jacket, underneath my aviators, leggings, t-shirts, if I'm going to the park, if I'm taking the dogs for a walk, you know, like when I just want to be super comfy, I haven't got time to think about wardrobe, but that also kind of looks put together. So my wardrobe has a lot of like oversized hoodies and leggings in for those specific days. Like I think if you've got a really good hoodie, a really good pair of leggings and some nice trainers, you can look really put together with like hardly any effort. And I think this kind of colour grey is a really nice alternative to black. So I did really, really size up in this because I just love that oversized fit. It just kind of gives like Balenciaga vibes, you know, really oversized, really big baggy hoodies. So I did get mine in a size extra large. You don't have to size up that much. If you don't want it, it as big as mine, you know, just go down a size or two. But this is really nice. It's going to be a really nice staple to have in my wardrobe. I wanted, I wanted also to show you an aviator coat. My aviator coat that is in my wardrobe I've had for years, maybe five years and it is still one that I choose and pick out every single year. If you are on a bit of a budget, you're looking for one really super warm coat for the winter, I would always recommend an aviator. They are so warm, like deceivingly, so snuggly and warm. And because they have this kind of, I don't even know what this material is on the outside, it's not leather and it's not suede, but it's almost like, it's almost like shower proof, like you don't get absolutely soaked in them. Um, so it's okay for like when it's just spitting or if you've got an umbrella or something but they're just so warm and so wearable I wear mine so much for things like school runs dog runs if I'm going watching the kids playing football we'll be standing like on the sidelines for an hour yeah I just thought I can't do this video without highlighting these coats 
and I wanted to find like a really good affordable one. So I thought the price on the Pretty Little Thing ones are really good and the quality on this is so nice. My one that I've had for years is from Zara. This feels literally exactly the same and is half the price. So I would definitely recommend it. It is literally exactly the same as my Zara one, but a lot better price point. Again, I would recommend sizing up in these because you want to be able to put a hoodie underneath and also it's just going to look better, bigger, trust me on it. Like you want it to look oversized, you want it to kind of like fit below your bum, you don't want it to be tight and fitted, like that is not the look you want to go for with one of these aviator coats. So yeah, I did size up. This is actually... Yeah, I got a size 14. I don't know if you want it to fit exactly like mine, but you could maybe size up either two or three sizes depending on how you want it to look. So Pretty Little Thing had loads of really gorgeous like sweatshirts, hoodies, and I wanted to pick up a few that I, that really caught my eye. So this I thought was lovely. Like it's such a nice neutral colour. I love like the v-neck on it and it's a nice big boxy comfy sweatshirt to wear. So I just teamed these with my Adenola leggings. Now I've spoke about Adenola leggings so many times before and on every video or every time I mention I wear a pair of leggings on Instagram I get messages like where do you get your leggings from? So I thought it's really important to tell you right now <laughs> because I'm sure lots of you are thinking like I want a decent pair of leggings for autumn. I have tried a lot of leggings. I would say there's two styles that I find like last year's and the quality is so good on them. Number one is Adenola. I've got Adenola leggings in my wardrobe that are like two, two years old and they literally still look brand new. They wash amazing. They don't lose their elasticity. The fit on them is so good and it just stays. Like it doesn't, lose, doesn't go bobbly, nothing. Like they're so good. So I think they're about 40 pounds. I would 100% recommend them. I'll put a link to them in the description box. It, even though you think, I don't want to spend £40 on a pair of leggings, trust me, you will actually buy less leggings because you'll just have your like one really good pair rather than buying like two or three pairs throughout the season. So they're one style. And then another style that I absolutely love are the Sweaty Betty leggings. Like they're plain power, they're called like power yoga leggings or something. I'll link those below as well. I'm only five foot four, so I get the seven eighths ones. I can never say that, seven eighths, um, so that they're not super long, but there's lots of different like uh, lengths on there, so I'll link those below too. I know I'm gonna get asked, so I thought, let's just get it out there first. So that's what I put with this um, sweatshirt, socks, trainers, again, just a really comfy, casual outfit. I'll wear something like this for like, the same again, really, like school runs, dog walks, shopping, food shopping, you know, that kind of stuff. So I like, it's already quite an oversized fit. I got a medium, super comfy, super cozy. So if you've been following me a while, you know I've lived in like striped shirts over summer. So when I saw this one, I was like, this is a nice move on for autumn. It's like a brown pinstripe oversized shirt. I got a medium because I wasn't sure how oversized it was going to be, but actually I should have just got a small, like just go for your, your usual size in these because they're already like an oversized fit, but I still liked it. So I teamed it over like my little ruffly skirt and Doc Martens, but there's so many other ways you could wear this. If you thought, oh, I don't really, I wouldn't really wear that kind of outfit, you could definitely just wear it over some leggings and boots. You could wear it with just like a, a white vest top and jeans. You could wear it with a white vest top and some joggers, with some cargo pants, just a really nice, like big, loose, oversized shirt. It would also look really nice with like um, slit hem leggings and maybe some nice flats for work would look really cute too. So yeah, super oversized. I love the color on it. Just maybe I should have gone for my normal size and not sized up. And then I got this, which I thought this was so cute. I loved the color on it. They actually had so many like blue things on there, like hoodies and tops. And usually I'm not really a blue person. I'm not really much of a color person, but this I thought was so lovely. The blue one is so nice. So I put this just with like my grey joggers and just a really comfy outfit. This is the kind of thing I would wear on a Sunday if I'm just partnering about at home or like just nipping out for a coffee or I don't know, just go and get like, you know, like really like practical jobs done, things like getting the car washed and going grocery shopping and things like that. And I just really like the fit on it. I love the zip high neck. 
I love the boxy fit. I love the, the big sleeves. It's just super comfy. And I got a size medium. I liked the fit on it. And it would also look really nice just with like gym leggings, chucking that you could, it'd be a nice top just to chuck on over your workwear stuff when you're going to the gym. Super easy and comfy. And this top that I'm wearing as well, I also got from Pretty Little Thing. I actually kept it on because I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect bodysuit. Like just to wear like things like this, like cargos, joggers, jeans. It just felt, it just feels so comfy. Like the, the material is so nice on it. It's super wearable, really comfy, really good fit. I just got a size eight in this and I absolutely love the fit. They also had, I think, black and gray in this. So it's a nice basic to get in a few colors and just have in your wardrobe to go with all like your jeans, joggers, cargo pants, stuff like that. So there are all the outfits that I picked up and all the casual bits that I wanted to share with you today. Any questions, just pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you all. If you are new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already. And make sure you come and follow me as well on like Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, all the social media channels. I'm just Beth Barch, I'm on everything. And um, yeah, I will see you on Friday. Bye.